Alright, well, should we go? I want to go see the radio, but I don't do it. I don't know if I want to go see the radio. We'll go see the radio. Just see what, what they have to say. It's probably, it's probably important, right? Well, it's not. Art lovers, are you feeling neglected? You shouldn't. You know Eddie Rodman's got love for you, which is why I... Hey, hey old creepy hand. Before noon, ...just so I could record an interview for your pleasure. Good for you. Enjoy. Now, as I'm sure you all know, the annual Night Springs Visual Art Show is coming around again, and that's a big deal oh. for all of us that are in the culture business. There is something in there. Business, God damn it. Controversial, I know. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Money makes the world go around, no doubt about it. <laughs> and that's one of my guests here at the studio, Serena Valdivia. She is a curator at the Night Springs Gallery of Visual Arts, and she's in charge of the NSVA Film Festival, held this year at the old Night Springs Drive-In Theater. Hello, Eddie. It's great to be here. And let me just say that it's a wonderful venue. Absolutely. And with her is one of the filmmakers, somebody who's actually primarily known as a renowned photographer, Alice Wake. Hello. Alice, <gasps> I've seen a lot of your work over the years. It's very you know her. Uh, my wife's a big fan, actually. Oh, thank you. You've uh, you've gained quite a bit of fame as a photographer, but that's not why you're here, right? You actually have a film. That's a little surprising. For me, too. I really wouldn't be here at all if it weren't for Serena. Uh, you two are friends, I take it? Yeah, we move in the same circles. So, about a year ago, I heard about all this footage she'd shot, and I got to see some of it, and then I started pestering her about actually putting it out there, because it was really good. I didn't really want to show it. It felt too personal. Well, yes, I can understand that. It, it, uh, it features your husband, and he's, um, well... Uh, he's... he's dead. No, uh, no, I'm not. I thought he was missing. Right here. It's been two years. I... this sounds awful, but yes, I believe he's dead. Otherwise, he would have... well, you know. Yeah, I, I understand. Well, hold that thought, and uh, we'll be right back. Well, there's a page up here. <sighs> I have seen the darkness twist flesh into new shapes before, but encountering these giants is an extremely disturbing experience. It's as if the genre has been switched on me. There's something out of Pulp Fiction. Twice as tall as normal men and stronger than forklifts, their lumbering gait and slow-witted demeanor brings to mind some kind of mean-spirited caricature of a feeble-minded hillbilly. Nice. Why do I hate the hillbillies, Alan? What's wrong with you? But anyway. It was nice to hear about Alice and how she's doing. She's doing well, it sounds like. You know, she thinks Alan's dead. Which we all know is not true. No flare, I'll take you because I used one of you. Oh, there's another TV show we can watch. So I've been thinking about Barry. I don't know what to do about him yet. I mean, I'm not gonna keep him around, that's for sure. Nah, who can blame you? Al. Al! Ugh, little parasite. Your best friend. Really? That's the best you can do. Yeah, sorry, sorry to disappoint. Do what I can, man. I actually kind of like the guy. He's a plucky little butterball. He plays the clown. That's a hard road to take. <laughs> but I don't need him sticking his fat face in my business. <sighs> Did you know he's been hanging out with the sheriff from that shitty little town? They keep in touch. Oh, well, good for Barry. Barry's about the only guy who insists that you're not dead. How about that? <sighs> I might keep him alive for a while. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Just to see him go to pieces when I fire his ass. <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> One more yeah, come on. I'm fine. Can I just say, I love the real time shadows in this game. It's just amazing when you think about how far we've come since like 
14 years ago. Hey, guys! I mean, seriously, go back and look at some of the, the pictures from games from 1999. I mean, they barely had baked shadows. And granted, some of them still look good, but shit. I mean, they don't even come close to what we got today. And that's kind of crazy to me, when you think about it. Yeah. I just, I can't wait to see what's going to happen in another 10 years. You know? 14 years, we got, well, I guess 12, 12 years, yeah. 12 years, we're here. With shadows that actually look pretty close to real, real time. I mean, there's still stuff to improve on, but... We're getting there, and it looks great. I thought I got it. And like I said before, I really want to see more emphasis with the new uh, generation of consoles. More emphasis on animation. Because that's one of the things that really kind of annoys me. Where am I going? I gotta go this way. I thought we just secured it. Um, the annoys me in games is that the animation almost never matches up like going upstairs. It almost never matches up. It drives me crazy. I don't know why it drives me crazy, but it does. Now what are you gonna do? Oh. Well, fine. That was hard. She couldn't do that herself. Alright, let's go tell her. Guess what? We got things going. We're good. Okay. I really don't think they can get to the power now. Thank you. That's a relief. Um, here's the keys that you needed. Thank you. Hey, I have to tell you. At the diner, I went there with him. The guy who looks like you, okay? I know I said that I didn't. You liar. Yeah, I figured. Want to talk about what happened at the diner? There was this guy from the observatory, and he just attacked the poor dude. Smashed his face into the tabletop a bunch of times. It was horrible. I... I didn't know that he was going to do that. I swear. And I just ran. I just left him there. I didn't even try to help. There was nothing you could have done. It's not your fault. Well, he's dead in that motel room now, so excuse me if I feel pretty shitty about it anyway. Your excuse is fine. You shouldn't blame yourself. I just didn't want to get involved. I have this tendency to just drop everything and run. I don't think I'm a bad person, but I... I didn't even call the cops. I'm such a coward. If you'd called the cops, we'd have dead cops. He's not human. Do you understand? It's not your fault. But I could have tried to stop him. Believe me, if you had, you'd be dead. You seem to be doing a little better now. Yeah, I guess it just got easier once I got this thing off my chest. I just feel so guilty about it. Especially because I didn't pick up on any of the warning signs. I just really liked hanging out with him, you know? He was smart and charming and funny and hot. The way you could be, I guess. Whoa. Yes. He's married. What's the deal with this Come on. guy anyway? He looks like you. He uses your name. Why does he do this stuff? I'm not sure myself. Maybe he's just evil or my dark half. He does a lot of the stuff I'm trying really hard to get away from. Things that just messed up my life. I guess all those murders don't help either. Yeah could do without the murders in the end of the world. Listen, I need to get going. Yeah, go. I think I'm good now. I hope. Me too. Good luck. If it all goes well, maybe this is the last time we meet like this. God, wouldn't that be great? Just keep those lights on, okay? Yes, because she's going to turn them off after she remembers dying three times. Or just two times. Oh no, she remembers dying. I don't think she's going to turn the fucking lights off, Alan. It's not going to be a problem. Why do I have to explore the motel rooms? I thought we already... Whatever. Fine. We'll explore the motel rooms. She could just grab the damn key. Nope. Can't go in there. But there is something in here. Nope. No. There's not something in here. Am I missing something? I see a star. Got that. Oh. The, the prompt didn't show up before. Hi, Paige. I'll listen to you in a second because I'm going to grab this as well. Okay. Which Alice friends? and Barry, my wife and my best friend, are easily the two most important people in my life. And they've never really gotten along with each other. I suppose both of them resent the other's intrusions into what they consider their domain. After I was gone, they maintained an uneasy truce. 
my book student print still selling, the licensing machine churned away. She was my wife and controlled the intellectual property. He was my agent and took care of the business. I wish they found more common ground than that. Well, we see. At least we know Alice is okay. Money-wise, at least. That's always a plus. Not to worry about that. Okay, we're gonna go up here and get that flare ammo, because... That's gonna annoy me if I don't. Come on, open the fucking door. There we go, thank you. Just check and make sure nothing else here. Nope. Alright. Hello, dead man. Just gonna take these keys, you don't need them. The fate of countless individuals hangs in the balance, threatened by the machinations of the Herald of Darkness. And yet, for a moment, the Champion of Light breathes a little easier. He has saved one life. For this moment, it is enough. And soon, perhaps, he can put an end to this. Returning to the observatory for what he hopes is the final time, the man feels anticipation and dread in equal measure. Soon, he knows he will have what he needs. And here we go again. Hello, I was expecting you. I've already taken care of the imaging array, but you should still look into securing the primary coolant flow. With some luck, you may be able to light the area before these things even show up. Great! These people are so helpful. Yep, yep, yep. Why can't I open it? Let me open it. Are you guys gonna come through first? Get off the freaking fence. You know you're not supposed to be there. Whoa, you were moving fast. Who the hell were you? You're not covered in this. Stop. There. Stop moving. Bitch. Oh. You know what? Fuck you. Hell out of here, guys. Very good. I believe we're ready to look into the sky. Right there, doctor. I ain't playing your shit. Oh, fuck me. I forgot to go into that little guard post. Son of a bitch. Now I can't get to it. I don't think. Let me see. Let me jump. Let me jump on. Let me. Let me jump. Let me jump. Why won't you let me jump? Fuck you, Stanley. Now I forget what was there. I know there's something there. Oh, wait. Is there a page in this? I remember seeing a page in one of these cars before. No. Okay. I don't like.
Damn, take four shots from the hunting rifle. Probably shouldn't go up here, but I see there is a question mark up here. I thought it was, isn't it? Is it over here? I mean, yeah, there it is. It's over here. Ah, there it is. Page. This act of creation is exhilarating and frightening. Subtext and symbols loom eager to take effect. Causality and consequence become domino chains that stretch into infinity. The more fundamental the change, the more unpredictable the variables become. Reality is too complex to control completely. Ordinary questions become meaningless. Who created who? What is really real? Everything is as real as everything else. You learn to let go of the things you can't control and go with the flow, or go insane. Well, you know what they say. Being insane is the only reasonable response to an insane world. Uh, that's just my way of saying, Alan, you're probably insane. I see you there. Get the fuck out. Well, we got more friends show up? Oh, you're looking that way. No, now you're looking that way. Because there's something here, or because you're weird? I can go down this way. Let's do that. Let's go down here. See if there's anything. I can get to the, the guard post now. So I want to see if there's anything in there. I don't think there is, but it's going to bother me the rest of the time if I don't check. So we're just going to take a quick look. I'll let this episode run a little bit longer because I'm doing this. There's this, but I don't think we're going to listen to it. Thanks for tuning in for the second part of there our is this. Oh, I can't pick it up. Valdivia and award-winning photographer, Alice Wake. Now, Alice, we were talking about your husband, Alan Wake. Uh, is that a sore subject for you? Well, a little bit. Duh. Of course it is. The way I see it, we had our good times and our bad times. And on the whole, we had a lot <coughs> of good times. He really made me happy. I don't mind being reminded of him. So you're... Uh, you're over him? <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be that entirely. I still think about him every day. Literally. I still find myself hoping for... Well, sometimes I think I see him just standing somewhere, watching me. I think most people who lose someone they love experience things like that. But on the whole, I'm doing all right. Two years is a long time to adjust, and I'm not really the type to love. I know there are a lot of stories about Alan. He seemed to have something of a wild streak. Um, that's not really what our show is about, though. Look, all that stuff really gets blown out of proportion. He had his problems, but it's really frustrating for me because people like to talk. They love to tell these crazy stories, and they never really knew him at all. Well, the character he created, Alex Casey, is a household name. The book still continue to sell. There's been talk of a TV series, a movie, a video game. It must be nice to know that his work is still being appreciated by so many readers. Yes, of course, but I don't really deal with the business side. I leave that to Alan's agent. Uh, that would be Barry Wheeler. Actually, I just interviewed him. Uh, he's currently in the music. Jesus Christ, man. And he's also Alan's best friend. Uh, do you two keep in touch? Or? We talk regularly. Like I said, he handles the business side. I think we should talk about her film. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I'm Eddie Rodman. Jesus Christ, man, Williams. you're a horrible interviewer. Well, I mean, I guess you're a good interviewer because you can hear her talk about that kind of stuff. But still, who has those kind of questions? Her husband is quote-unquote dead. Why would you be asking questions like that? What's wrong with you? This is the honey rifle, right? Yeah, okay. Got all the ammo we need. I want to go this way because it's quicker than going around. I told you guys, if I not go down there, it drove me nuts. And I'm pretty sure I missed a page somewhere, but oh well. Oh hey, look! 
What's with the car? Okay. Breathe down. Just breathe. Get through this. Yeah, that's going to stop me. Really? Jesus. No, oh, oh. oh, don't need it. Okay. And there's nothing in there, right? Nope. Just a body in a bag. Right. Come on in. Gee, thanks. Really, you put the camera to the mirror. You're weird. This is what you look like. Does that bother you? I bet it does. I'm not just wearing your face, you know. It goes a lot deeper than that. There's a lot of you in me. All the best parts. At first, I was just an idea. But they kept telling all those stories about you. You already had that rep. And then you disappeared mysteriously. And then, the stories about bad, crazy Alan Wake came true. And here I am. That's the best part, isn't it? When that happens, you can always count on Cauldron Lake. That fucking lake. <sighs> I'm just as real as you are. And I'm the improved version. No fears, no doubt, no weaknesses, no self-deception here. I don't let anything drag me down. I know you like I know myself. I know it bothers you that I'm like this. I use your name, crawl my way into your life, but I only do it because... You're an asshole. I'm better at being you than you ever were. No, no, I'm going with you're an asshole. And psychotic. And just overall creepy. Yeah. No. Oh, great. This is gonna be fun. Can you come back from this? I believe in you. I think you can. All you have to do is believe. You believe. Click your heels together and say there's no place like home. Or Why? Why do you hate my mind? My, my hero? Really? Really? If you're dead, just concede, man. I mean, I'm trying my best to say Blake here. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do that. Oh, whatever. Alright, go. 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 Bear, you will maul him and eat him for dinner. It's like a picnic basket. Except for all the goo and squishy inside. So, 